and you don't need to be a UX designer to know everything here, but it can be important to consider these things in your overall design process. Starting with wayfinding. Think about how a user navigates through your experience. Can they find what is relevant to them? Are they able to explore content and navigate back to the homepage while also staying oriented? Or do they get lost? That's, those are the questions that we could be asking ourselves there. Up next, we have visual clarity. Define a visual standard. Be consistent with your use of size, colors, text, animations, and even your points of interaction within the experience so that the audience can familiarize themselves with your brand. They can recognize things. Paired with visual clarity, we want to talk about signifiers. So use clear and intuitive signage. The signifiers are actually the physical characteristics that, uh, of an object or an environment that influences its function. So imagine if you had a carousel, you might want to include arrows on the left and the right side to indicate that you can interact and cycle through those pages. Up next, we have hierarchy. So use size, use space, color, and animations to help define a hierarchy of elements. This will allow your audience to recognize what is the primary information, secondary, tertiary, and so on and so forth, so they can quickly and easily find what they're looking for within the experience overall. And then paired with hierarchy, we have readability. So using legible text sizes, proper contrasting colors, and you can even think about some animations um, to, to make sure that your content is legible and, on all the devices. So you could probably send a screenshot or the, the URL to yourself uh, via direct message or an email and view it on those devices to make sure that everything looks proper. And then lastly, we have control. So think about how much freedom you want your users to have. Is this a linear sequence or is it more of an organic experience? Uh, one comparison to this is think Super Mario Brothers on the NES versus The Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo Switch. Are you going through the levels per, uh, linearly to save Princess Peach or are you, are you able to explore all of Hyrule in order to save Princess Zelda? There's really no right or wrong answer here. It's really how you want to, uh, how you want your audience to digest your information.